Yeah, we got 19 guys in the gym right now. Really looking forward to uh, the first day and, uh, you know, our first game's the 14th, so just, just getting ready for it. As you look at this roster, what, what do you see is going to be the strength of this team early on? Um, we're going to be in great condition. Um, you know, guys are really going to be, uh, be able to run up and down the court. Um, you know, that's, that's one of the things the Pacers strive is conditioning, and that's one of the same things that we're going to be doing here also. You kind of... Uh familiar with this area, this team. Um, what did you learn the most from last year maybe that you'll use this year? You know, I, I, I learned how an, an NBA team is involved with their D-League team. Um, you know, knowing the philosophies offensively and defensively and, and everything being, um, you know, just on the same page from their general manager to our, to our general manager. I mean, every, everything's the same and we're going to mirror uh, exactly everything that the Pacers are doing. Starts with practice one. You've already got a Hall of Famer at practice. Uh, practice going to have a different feel this year? <laughs> uh, a little bit. I mean, maybe you can come out and put on a jersey and, and, and show the guys a couple of things. But it, it's an honor. It's a privilege just for him to be here. And uh, it's going to be great. I mean, and that should just tell you how how invested that the Pacers are here. Steve, you got 19 guys. You're going to have to uh, trim that pretty rapidly. How do you make those quick decisions? Or do you already just, you just have to put them in situations this season? Yeah, you know, 19 guys is is a lot, you know, for a, for a training camp. Um, it's a little more than I'd like, but um, you know, that's just what happens. I mean, you know, Shane and uh, Shane and Rock just got just got assigned, and, and I'm really excited about that. Getting those guys in here and, and working. Um, you know, we have a, a, a an exhibition game on Saturday um, against Canton and Grand Rapids. It's kind of a three-team kind of deal, and uh, you know, we're, we're we're looking to make some cuts before that so we can uh, see some certain guys. Um, play in, in, in that scrimmage on Saturday. Do you think it's helpful for uh, Shane and Christmas to come down here? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, you know, the Pacers are in Detroit right now, and and they have a game, and you know they haven't been playing a lot of minutes. So, any time that those guys can can be assigned and, and, and come down here is 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 great for their development, and they'll they'll get a lot more uh, um, you know extra time with us than they will you know. In, in Detroit right now, or, or 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 in Indy, you know, not practicing a lot. Helps them get familiar with the guys here too. Yeah, exactly. You know, Shane and Rock and whoever uh, will be assigned this year is part of our team. You know, we had a team meeting last night, and those guys understand that they're not, you know, different. They're not just Pacer players. They're they're Mad Ant guys too. When they put on that Mad Ant jersey, that's who they are, and and everyone will be, you know, one. What's your focus going to be uh, here in practice early on? Defense. Defense. Uh, today's going to be all defense, you know. Um, and I, I know the Pacers are trying to change uh, some things offensively, but these guys need to know um, what we want to do exactly on the defensive end. And we're going to win a lot of games uh, uh, playing defense and, and doing what we're supposed to do on the defensive end rather than just scoring the basketball. How excited are you for day one being back here? I'm excited. I'm excited. I've been, you know, I've, I've been looking forward to this day for, for a long time. I mean, I've been in Indy. You know, for a month, and I was been back here for the draft prep. I'm just ready to get it going. How'd you, how did this team do in the draft? I thought we did really well. You know, we we had certain guys uh, very high on our board that we wanted, and we we got those guys. So, you know, you don't necessarily just want the best players. You want you know certain guys that can fill out camp and can fill out uh, certain positions and and. We feel, you know, Brian, myself, and the rest of the staff really feel that we got the right guys for our camp. You've got 19 guys here at camp, and you've got to make cuts. I assume there are some guys you, that are here. You know they're they're here, so, right? No, no, not, not, not necessarily. You know, everyone here is for a reason. And, you know, we, we just didn't get a guy just, you know, just to have a body. We saw potential in them. All, all these 19 guys here are are, are high-level basketball players, and they're also high-level character guys, too. So everyone's going to get an opportunity to showcase what they can do. I guess what I meant was, is there some guys you, you can't, the Pacers say, you're keeping them, right? I mean... I think as a, as a whole group, collectively, we'll all discuss certain things. I mean, you know, I have, I have my boss and Brian, and Brian has his bosses, so we'll all come together and we'll kind of see what we want to do here by Saturday. You say, yeah, what's the timetable look like for like making the first cut? Um, we'll, we'll make first cuts uh, before Saturday, before we go to Detroit. Okay. That, 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 that's when we'll go.